market experienced a very significant and surprising double-digit increase in price sales. Who would have been able to predict that amount of activity when the world was in a pandemic? It also provided evidence to the importance of the real estate market as an economic engine and how it was a critical factor in keeping the economy going. We have to note that our calls for increased supply went somewhat unheard for several years. And now that it has reached a critical and crisis stage, we have every level of government promising to address the problem. And time is of the essence. The economy will improve and things will eventually fully reopen. It's essential that all governments plan for another unprecedented event, and that is a significant population growth due to immigration and migration. So demand isn't going away. Our regions and cities will need more ownership and rental homes. Recent reports have suggested we will need to build over 1 million homes just to catch up to the demand in Ontario. This should be and is a significant concern. Also, in a post-COVID world, we will need to keep a keen eye on the commercial market. There will be implications with respect to remote work versus moving back to the workplace, as well as shifts in the workforce, such as the great resignation and the impact of affordability on attracting a talented workforce. Inside the report, you can also see where office space stand and why industrial spaces led the way last year. Lastly, you'll be able to see evidence of the continued strong interest in new homes and the climb in condo sales that we saw last year, throughout the entire year, but more so recently. With that said, this digital digest by visiting tread.ca is your opportunity to see key issues currently impacting our industry. Toronto Regional Real Estate Board CEO John DeMichel. You're listening to audio highlights from the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board 2021 Market Year in Review at Outlook 2022 Virtual Summit. With this report and summit, Trump presents